Welcome back guys. So uh, I just wanted to give you guys a little uh, update and uh, we we went on a few adventures in the in the last couple of weekends and uh, they didn't really pan out to what we expected them to. Uh, one of them we went to, uh, uh, we went online and just looked for places in Ontario close to us uh, that would be interesting to go and uh, you know go have a look and, and learn about. And we ended up going to Foy Mount and um, uh, Belaclava and uh, a few of those uh, little towns they they have marked as ghost towns. Well, there wasn't really much to see. We didn't really, you know, go door knocking or nothing. But we we drove around and looked for obvious signs of you know where these these uh, homes and abandoned buildings could be and. We uh, we didn't we couldn't find them. I don't know if it's because uh, it's everything's grown in, the leaves are out, and you can't really see into the uh, into the bush at all. I don't even know if they're in the bush. But anyways, we we didn't find what we expected to find. It was still some nice scenery, and it was a it was a fun you know it was a fun road trip. Just there wasn't a whole lot to show you guys. But I feel it's sort of wasted. Um, you know uh, video filming um, so I want to share it with you guys it's nothing spectacular there's a few good views and a few good laughs and so the, the there's that to have a look at and we did go over to some friends places on the way home from the uh, road trip and we uh, helped them out with their dock and we did a bit of fishing and uh, last but not least ended up at the, the casino Lac Limi in Hull um, and uh, that was a good night we had lots of fun and um, uh, so yeah I'm gonna give you these clips and uh, my wife looks very guilty of something right there I can tell <laughs> and it wasn't winning no prize if you know what I'm saying Sam <laughs> anyways have a look at these clips and let me know what you think good morning guys so today we're doing something a little different. We're gonna go check out some ghost towns. So we get packed up and I'll give you guys the details once we're on the road. Hey guys, welcome back. So we're heading over to uh, Foy Mount, Ontario, which is uh, uh, a place where there's, uh, well, apparently some ghost towns, abandoned towns. I don't know a lot about them, but we're Saturday morning, we're doing a little road trip, and uh, we're gonna go find these towns. There's a few of them. Um, I wrote them down here because I don't know them offhand, but apparently there's uh, Brundanel, Foy Mount, Balaclava, and Letterkenny. And I don't know, this is something I found online, I don't know a lot about it, but we're just going to take a drive down and go check it out. It's sort of a nice day, a nice weekend. I got the girls with me this time. Hi. So uh, we're going to go and uh, check it out and then find a place to crash tonight. I don't know if we're going to do Walmart or a campground. It's sort of the same old, just, we'll just go and we'll figure it out when we get there. If we have to, if we have to crash and uh, in one of the... Uh, abandoned house laneways and that's what we'll do. Summer's not real keen on that but uh, we'll go check it out and uh, we'll bring you back when we get there. It's about a couple hours road trip from our house so it won't be too long. We'll be there and we'll see what uh, what's going on. Oh yeah, Foy Mount has one of the highest viewpoints uh, I guess in that I don't know if it's Ontario, probably not Ontario, but they used to use it, I guess it was a uh, military base that uh, used, the, used to watch for bombers or something back, uh, probably the Second World War, I guess. Anyways, we'll bring you back when we get a little closer. So this is the... Uh Quillon Ferry, real nice spot here to come and sit and enjoy the sunshine, maybe bring a lunch and 
pack a lunch or, or even go do a little bit of fishing. It's a nice spot. That ferry crosses over the Ottawa River. And, uh, yeah. Not sure what it costs to cross, but it's probably around $10. And, uh, but a real nice park area here. Just stopped to give uh, Toby a little break there and let him take a pee. Some baby corn, I guess, out there. There's some pretty nice uh, farms out here in uh, Shawville, Quebec, Quillon, up heading up the 148. It's super nice. Anyways, giving the dog a little break. Back on the road. So we're on Highway Four, sorry, Five Twelve, Foy Mount Road, heading towards Foy Mount. Not really sure what comes first, but we're looking for a ghost town.
buyers here. Yep. There's no stop in the way. See, extreme fire warning. That's a pretty wicked view. Wow. These folks have a nice view. They, they live right, right there. Some traffic coming here. Anyway, it's pretty killer. It's like one of the highest viewpoints, I think, in Ontario, if I'm not mistaken. Norad used to use it uh, as a uh, lookout for uh, Russian bombers I think if I'm not mistaken something like that there's a military base here Anyways, if you want to pause it read their little board here you can do that it's uh, just outside of Eganville in the Bonashire Valley Anyways, freaking beautiful see all the way around I'm sure in the fall you get an even better even better view but crazy you don't have to leave Canada to find some nice scenery that's for sure all right carry on here
Alright guys, made a little detour. The ghost town was a bit of a flop. There was no, uh, you couldn't really get access to anything. So we're in Val de Mont, Quebec now. Here's the bar Le Pic. If ever you're in the neighborhood, stop in for some chicken wings. And a beer, of course. But, uh, so yeah, we're in Val de Mont, Quebec. We're going to uh, stop by some friends' place. They're, um, they live on a lake. And we do a bit of fishing there and swimming and whatever. And they need a hand with their dock, so we're going to go help them out with their dock. Maybe get a line in the water if we can. Get our tip wet. So we'll bring you along. We'll show you what's going on. And uh, should be a nice day. Cafe Ole. There it is. can't park there and text people. Thank you. You're not gonna tell her about her bumper? Hey, did you know your bumper is dragging? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We got this dock fixed up there. It's a little better. Old dock, but give it a little more life. Putting some new cleats in it. Now I'm going to go for a fish. Nice little lake. Twin lake. Lots of uh, musky in here. We've caught several four-footers. Get out there in the pontoon boat and try to snag a few. Right? Exactly. Pressure now.
definitely some on this side. Let's see what Lots of weeds here. Oh yeah. yeah. But that's good for musty. That's where they feed. But switch this to this corner. There's more room for it because over here it's kind of crowded. So we're trying to hook another musky here. We've caught a couple on this lake. Last year Dan there caught a 46 inch musky. Uh, might have even been the same one that we caught there a couple of winters ago. But uh, this lake is full of these big muskies. A nice spot to fish. That's my buddy Dan over here. He's uh, he's got the house on the lake. And we're up here all the time, hanging out and boating and fishing and doing all that fun stuff. Actually, this channel started because of a fishing trip me and Dan were on, and uh, you probably see it in one of the shorts there on the channel. Uh, fishing with Dan and stuff. Well, that's where the whole idea started. And I sort of continued it on from there. But, uh, we unfortunately don't get a ton of fishing done because we've got responsibility. So. And uh, not a lot of time. But we get out here on the weekends after this lure it always bothered me but when I was a kid my uncle loved them loved these things and he bought me one and he always said it was good for the weeds but this is from Walmart and his is probably from Bass Pro Shop or one of those yeah, yeah. So we're in Val de Mont, Quebec, on uh, Twin Lake, right? Yep. Twin Lake's just a small lake. You can, I don't know, it might be, I don't know, half a kilometer long, maybe. And, uh, well, I'm not sure how deep it is. Do you know? Uh, no, I don't. I know mm -hmm. it's at least a hundred in the middle. Okay. I've heard 200 over there in the corner. Okay, so deep enough. But there's like one spot. Okay. So we did that road trip there looking for these uh, ghost towns. It was a bit of a flop. There's a lot of these uh, old buildings have been bought out by someone and either torn down or, or they just don't want people walking around on their property, obviously. So it wasn't quite what we expected it to be, but we are going to go back because there's a uh, there's an abandoned runway that the military used to use out there, and we, we got the coordinates for it yeah, we're this morning. Right. Yeah, and uh, so we're going to take another drive out. And Check it out. Yeah, it, you know what? It's, it's that whole area is really, really nice. Yeah. Going out. And have you so been on that? I've been out that way. I don't know if I've ever been through Point Out. Okay. It's quite the spot. Like it, it reminds me a little bit of Chelsea. Right. We should we should go around the corner a wee bit, like maybe. Sure. Just uh, out of the super deep stuff here. You caught yours over there, eh? Just around the corner almost a bit? That's right. You caught your uh, musky right around there, there, yeah. Just past those weeds. 
they're basically almost in front of the bay show. Okay. I think we'll coast in that general direction. That's the little, yeah, the boss boat, right? Yeah, because yeah. there's been several since then. That right. I, the problem is, uh, I got so much on the go at once. Like, I mean, we've all got lots on the go. And I have so many weekends planned that I wouldn't have time to use the damn boat. Well, out of the way, <laughs> don't want to ruin the view. <laughs> you are the view, buddy. <laughs> Right here, we've got a master caster here. Watch him go. He's gonna catch you big, big ass fucking fish. Big ass, big like that. Master caster. That's what we call it, master caster stuff. Master caster stuff or master baiter stuff? No. You... <laughs> That's derogatory. He's a bit of a master baiter, too. <laughs> <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Right? Out of control. What a good day, though. It was like weather-wise. Was a good day. I was. Uh, oh, there we go. Nice. Here we go. I told you, Master Coster. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. oh, he's lost it. He's not the best reeler in her. Oh, that might have been a weed. Yeah, that's a weed. Really? It felt like a hit, though. Wow, it is a weed too. You ready? Ready. Here's my buddy Daniel. Hey, Put your lights on. Middle one. Yeah. Quite the view. It's like a purple sky. Well, no luck at the casino. See but it was we, fun. See if we can get lucky in the van. <laughs> fuck is going on here boys <laughs> is this what you do when you get old because uh 
I don't want to get there. Oh, there must be the instructor. Yeah, that's what's going on. Oh my god. This lady knows we're filming her. She's like, uh, wait a minute. Uh, you can see my Pilates. <laughs> my Pilates. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> I gotta turn this off, but everybody's watching.